guys and welcome to my November PC build featuring the Zotac GTX 1050 Ti OC Edition. So this month's budget is $500 or 25,000 pesos. But if you can spend $100 more, then you can check out last month's build which you can find the link in the description down below. $500 is another interesting sweet spot for most gamers as this will not only give you a system that's good for 1080p gaming as well as a build that will give you great upgrade potential. So all the prices will be from DynaQuest PC. Again, anyone outside the Philippines can find great deals on Amazon, eBay, or Newegg. Starting off with the CPU, we have the Intel i3 6100 for 5,400 pesos. So while it may be advertised as being a dual-core CPU, in reality, it actually acts as a quad-core because it has 4 threads and hyper-threading while being clocked at 3.7 GHz and based on the Skylake architecture. Plus down the road, you can always upgrade to an i5 or i7, Skylake or KB Lake, whatever the hell you want, because the new KB Lake processors will also be using the LGA1151 motherboards. Speaking of, the motherboard we'll be using is the Gigabyte B150M D3H for 5,150 pesos. This is a solid motherboard for the price. With this, you have some serious upgrade potential. Not only is this an LGA1151 motherboard, it supports up to 64 gigs of DDR4. You have two PCIe slots if you ever get rich in some way and decide to go SLI or Crossfire. Six SATA ports for all the storage you need. And the bonus here is that you have an M.2 slot in the event that you want to add a super fast SSD. For the graphics card, we'll be using the Zotac GTX 1050 Ti OC Edition 47950. Now, this card is currently not available in DynaQuest PC. I got mine at ECPC. So, yeah, I made a review of this card, which you can find the link in the description. Really solid budget card, more than enough for MOBA games, and can handle most AAA titles. High settings, 60 FPS, no problem. For the memory, we'll be using a single 8 gig stick of Corsair Vengeance LPX for 2250. For storage, as always, the Western Digital Blue 1TB hard drive for 2290. For the case, like last month's build, we'll be using the Techware Mono with a 600W power supply. I forgot to mention that this is only available in the Philippines. Um, uh, so if you can find a case with at least a 400 or 500W power supply included for about 25 to 30 dollars then you're good lastly are two 120 millimeter case pants from beat phoenix for 580 so with all that we managed to spend 24,720 pesos or about 500 dollars and with that you got yourself a capable 1080p pc that can handle light video editing and any other moderately demanding tasks like photoshop with great upgrade potential and that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed this help you in building your own pc leave a like and share consider subscribing it's free thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next one